Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to simplify a radical expression using the quotient property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given three problems here that we want to simplify. Our first one, the square root of m to the sixth power over m to the fourth power. Well, my rules allow me to simplify underneath the square root if I want to first. In this case, it's probably the best option. We know that if we take the square root of m to the sixth over m to the fourth, we can subtract the ep uh, exponents. So that's m to the sixth minus a four power. From there, we have, well, m to the sixth minus four is m squared. Again, division turns into subtraction with the exponents. Lastly, square root of m squared is just an m, but we have to be careful. We gotta put absolute values over it. When we have an m squared or variable squared and then we take the square root of it, we're left with a variable, but we know that that number cannot be negative. For example, if I put in negative three, negative three here, let's say I square that and then took the square root of it. Negative three squared is a positive nine, and then square root of positive nine is a positive three. And so these wouldn't really line up. If our m value was negative three, our solution would be positive three, and it should have come back to be itself. So that's why we have to make sure we have an absolute value over that m value. All right, <clears throat> first one done, absolute value of m. Second one, same idea, we're gonna subtract the exponents. Third root of a to the eight over a to the fifth, that's a to the eight minus five power, subtracting the exponents. Third root, a to the eight minus five is a third root of a to the third power. Same idea, third root of something to the third power as itself, we have an a, and this time we don't have to worry about the absolute value. This happens when we have odd exponents. The negative sign will come back, so we don't have to worry about that. So either way, our solution here is a. Last one, fourth power, always a little more difficult. Let's see what we can do. Let's go subtract again the exponents, a to the 10 minus a two power here. Again, 10 minus two. We're left to the fourth power of, well, a to the eight. Now what's the fourth root of a to the eighth power? Well, a to the eighth power, if we want to visualize this, we have fourth root of a to the fourth times a to the fourth power here, like that. We can separate that like this if you want, a fourth root of a to the fourth, if I can write it, times fourth root of a to the fourth power. Each one individually gives us a a value, right? Fourth root of a to the fourth is a, fourth root of a to the fourth is a, oh, not a to the fourth, just a. And normally, if it was just individually, we'd have to worry about the absolute value, but a times a is a squared, which treats it like an absolute value. We don't can't really have a negative output there. And there we have it, we have a squared. So fourth root of a to the 10 over a squared simplifies to just be an a squared. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify a radical expression using the quotient property. And if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.